Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. We're at Rockport Beach. Wanted to tell you about uh, the events that have brought us here today. Right now, the heat index is 92 degrees at 2 p.m. And the winds are 14 miles an hour which is why I have the windows up right now. It's been cloudy most of the day, then the sun comes out and it's gorgeous. The weather's kind of like me. You look at it from the right angle, it, it, it's, not, it's not too bad. <laughs> oh, ready for a horrible dad joke? What is a witch's favorite subject in school? Spelling. Yep. Yep. No, no need to ever tell another dad joke again. That one was it. There's a porta potty over my shoulder there. We're at the Circle, Rockport Beach. You know they they've been cutting the grass in the area where they usually uh, let the grass grow so the birds can uh, lay their eggs. And I noticed, and I'm not complaining about this. There's a lot less seagulls around right now. And I noticed that yesterday as well. Boy, I would hate it if all the seagulls left the area. The skimmers are uh, still here though. So that's always good. So last night, after I posted that video, I answered a bunch of comments. You guys leave the nicest comments, thank you. And uh, I went to bed early, I was just tired. This heat is uh, exhausting, especially at night. But I have to say the last few nights, despite the heat, I got the chill pad out and uh, makes a big difference. Tonight before I go to bed, I'll get ice. I uh, bought ice two nights ago and I couldn't fill up my cooler so I put the rest in a bag and I brought it over to Luciano and he was real happy to get some ice. He's set up, he has one of those wide mouth uh, thermoses and he put the ice in there and I'm like that's that's actually pretty brilliant I didn't uh, think of that I don't know what kind of vibrating this camera is going to get I have it in a tripod hanging from the overhead mirror my friend Jamie Macon bought me a small tripod and it's got flexible legs and if you've seen me do any of those uh uh, time-lapse videos where the clouds are zoom zooming left and right uh, that's uh, I take that tripod and put it on my uh, driver's window halfway up so it stays in one spot and I usually let it run uh, 30 minutes and that'll give me 30 seconds of video so that's always interesting to me anyway I think it's a cool effect but uh, went to bed early I was just like playing on my phone, getting cooled off, all that kind of fun stuff. And then my butt says to me, hey, I got to go to the bathroom. I'm like, okay, give me a minute. And my butt says, mm, right now, pops. So I hurried up and got, got out of the truck and my shoes on and uh, got my um, shirt on because no one wants to see this mess and uh, made it over to the restroom. That was good. And then I stayed uh, stayed in the front of the truck and read uh, my uh, tablet for a while, just to make sure I was, uh, the mission was completed, if you will. <laughs> and then uh, went to sleep a little late, later than I wanted to, woke up, at the beginning of sunrise, which I believe is about 625, we started to get some colors, uh, some pinks and blues. And I just laid there in my truck and watched the sky turn pretty. And uh, got over to the mechanic by 7 a.m. I thought they opened at 7. The mistake I made was I thought, no. It uh, opened at 8 o'clock. Yay, Dennis. Good on you, Dennis. Anita, quick. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. 
That's right. We got that done. That's for one person who watches in Australia. The correct answer, of course, would be oi, oi, oi. In case you don't know, we can play that again later and uh, you can join in. But uh, shaved, got all the, you know, I got a little bag ready to carry around with me in case my truck was there for a while. They all got there and they're open at 8. I'd say within 10 minutes, they had my car plugged into the computer. The uh, one mechanic, John, came back with a clipboard with about, I don't know, 12 codes on it. And he said, uh, it's coming up 12 codes. And I said, well, which which one looks important, you know? And he, and he said, um, you don't have to do any of them. And I said, does that sound right? And uh, he said, well, if you're going to do one, do this one. And then I talked to the owner, Bob, who uh, is an awesome guy. <laughs> Bob says, here's Bob's problem. Bob's honest. Bob got in the wrong business. Um, the last time I went there, they hooked me up, and we got one code. And he said, that's, that's nothing that's going to stop you from running. Go do your thing. If, uh, if it comes on again, come back and see me. Well, it came on again. And uh, so I went back to see him and he, Bob talked to John, the mechanic, and, and, and they said, we're going to reset it. If your engine light comes on again, come back. But I was already, the price they gave me for the one thing that, you know, they said out of all these, the important one would be this one. And it was going to run around 300 bucks. I don't even remember what it was. I don't even remember what it was. So I was relieved that it was 300. I was like, okay, that's good. Because if it was over X amount of dollars, that nothing was getting done. Turned out nothing got done anyway. So they reset it. You know, they're say, they said, you know, is it stalling on you? No. And I said, sometimes it feels a little sluggish, but it's not like the transmission is skipping or anything like that. So... They reset it. I was in and out of there in under an hour, more like 45 minutes, which was nice. Uh, I kind of insisted Bob charge me for the diagnostics test, diagnostic test, because last time they didn't charge me, and I don't want to be that guy showing up all the time and, you know, expecting stuff for free. So they charged me 60 bucks, and uh, they won't charge me for that when, when I have to go back. And I, and I said, can I, can I travel with it like this? And he said, yes. He said, nothing on there is going to stop you from going anywhere. If it starts running really rough or the engine light comes on, bring it back. And I was like, damn, honest mechanics. How do they make any money there, you know? But um, that, was, uh, that was it. So I leave there, and he's on a double highway. As soon as I cross the double highway, a, a big uh, box comes on the screen with a wrench, and it says, see mechanic. Literally, I had been driving about 30 seconds, but the engine light didn't come on. So I'm like, let's just do what they said. We'll see what happens. It seemed like when I kind of gunned it, it said, see mechanic, but the engine light didn't come on. I did gradual, normal people transitions up, up to speed the rest of the day. I um, went into Walmart. Luciano has a, uh, oh, some type of Android phone, a Cruise E5 or something like that. And we were looking for a battery. I was looking for a battery in Walmart. Walmart doesn't carry batteries. They said uh, Amazon or... Uh, interstate battery, which is in Corpus, which is a 43 mile each way trip. So uh, I told Luciano and he, and he said, well, he bought the phone at Cricket in front of Walmart. So I went to Cricket. They don't sell the batteries there. The girl said the same thing, Amazon or interstate. But she said it might not be the battery. If his phone is over a year old, it could just be the phone. And, um, that's, but I, and I, I, I believe her, I know they're not made to last long anymore, but, uh, 
that's also the person telling you to get a new phone is the the girl who gets a commission when people buy new phones. So you have to consider that. But but this girl seemed okay. I but I also I, I just ran into an, an two honest mechanics. What are the odds of running into an honest uh, phone salesman? You know. But I drove to Portland, got my car washed, vacuumed it. I had so much sand under my little uh, rug mat, the mat on, on uh, my driver's area from me going to Port Aransas. I had like a quarter inch of sand under my mat that I never really noticed before, which I thought was funny. And then uh, I opened up the back and I noticed my battery, uh, when I get up in the morning, I know I'm gonna drive. I plug in my DeWalt fan uh, battery into the charger, the charger goes into a converter, converter goes into the 12 volt outlet, but the light wasn't on. So I was like, okay. So this means either I blew a fuse in the 12 volt, which happens from time to time, or my converter went, which happens about once a year, or the, um, the battery charger is gone, which has happened once in three and a half years. So I brought the battery charger and the battery to the front where I could plug it in and it worked fine charged real quick matter of fact it was almost charged so it's not that so now when I get in the back when it cools down a little bit I will dig out my extra converter I always have a spare converter because they do go and I don't want to be stuck it's it is just too damn it comes a speed bump let's see if the camera falls here Speed bump, speed bump with Dennis. Speed bump, speed bump with Dennis. Goulet! Okay, we're over here. Now we got a ditch. They're uh, working on the entrance back there. Got a ditch. And, uh, yeah, I, I, there's no way I could make it through the night without that fan. Because sometimes during the night, one battery will die. And I will have to change the other one. And just that... 20 seconds like I will wake up it gets so hot and I'm used to the noise and the air movement it uh, it would be quite unsatisfactory <laughs> let's see if Luciano still over here I don't want to stop and talk to Luciano today because I just got my truck washed and all his little friends the seagulls will poop all over it so I did that a very nice girl whose name doesn't want to be mentioned on uh, YouTube. Let's just say it starts with a D and it rhymes with heaven. Uh, did my feet for me, cut my toenails, and made me feel special. Luciano has vacated the premises. Yeah, so he's having trouble keeping his uh, phone charged. And that is his source of entertainment. So, uh, I did offer, he can order his own stuff from Amazon. He's set up and I did try to pick him up some. So he, uh, he said he didn't want to order them again from Amazon cause he just got new ones and they only lasted three months. But when I told him that could just be the phone, not the batteries, he said that makes sense. So we will see what he does. And I stopped at Academy just to look at their camping stuff. I, uh, I'm thinking about getting another enamel um, mug. It always seems like I'm going to have coffee with someone and where I give them my mug and I'm drinking out of a plastic McDonald's cup. <laughs> and for the second time in a row, I've gone there and haven't been able to get near the camp and stuff they're doing a reset and i last went there about two weeks ago and that whole camping section was blocked off and it was blocked off again today which doesn't really make too much sense to me since this is the time of year i assume where a lot of people go camping and around here 
you can go camping year round. It'd be pretty rare. I mean, there were people camping, just looking for Luciano, uh, during the polar vortex. And I watched a video by, I watched some rusty videos. I watched, uh, who else? Uh, RV uh, Sue's video and um, uh, RV Living with the Geezers video. And uh, my friend Sharon Nature has a longer one. So I'm going to watch that tonight while I uh, make and eat dinner. So I feel like I watched more of something earlier. Jamie Macon had a short one. I think that was this morning. Sometimes I don't remember if it was yesterday or today. That wild van living in a truck bachelor lifestyle. But highlights. My truck didn't cost me much, 60 bucks. Nothing got fixed, but I have confidence in uh, John and Bob. And a pretty girl touched my feet, which is uh, a big bonus. The road's getting bumpy, my voice is shaky, and I got a drinking problem. Guys, thanks for riding along. I have a good video for tomorrow. Not not like this piece of crap. I got a good one in the morning. Got some pretty stuff. Thanks for riding along today. Can you guys drive for a while? Just want to take a nap. Okay. I said Jesus take the wheel, and Jesus said, Don't, don't, don't play. So I'm not playing. Thanks for riding along today, guys. Thanks for watching.